Welcome everyone to another Super Shays video with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Let me hear you say it with me. Squad goals, thank you so much for clicking into the Shay video and for joining me. I'm thrilled to have you here. Hopefully you've got yourself something delicious and cold and refreshing and a comfy chair. Will it on in and welcome to the Shay Battle. Today we're going to be rocking out. We're going to be grabbing the high proof all aluminum pivoting head single edge this uses a half de razor blade that's on the kickstarter um, front right now and it just went international so if you are in a foreign country go check their um, kickstarter out they are just barely getting that set up for international shipping and today we're going to be comparing it to the leaf shaves thorn razor and i absolutely love this i i don't want anybody to have mystery here this is one of my favorite razors in my den and i know a lot of people out there that feel the same way it's got a really small head it's got a very like nice easy approachable angle and it really lets you know where the blade is as you're shaving it's awesome i really like the 69 gram razor it's smaller fits in all your tight spots and even though it was meant to be more of like a trimmy like you know a touch up kind of razor i use it as a solo driver all the time and i really like it now everybody i i want to mention this out of the 350 videos we've done on channel like i had seriously 15 requests for this battle when this dropped everyone wanted to know immediately how does these two side by side stack up now i think a lot of the efficiency on this comes from the pivot right from really being able to get that right up against the skin as close as you need and allowing that pivot to do the work Whereas the thorn really, it's a razor where you're going to do a lot of the, the effort, you know, and making sure that it's at the right angle to make sure it gives you a nice, enjoyable shave. That being said, I know a lot of you want to see this battle, so let's rock. I wanted to go through, we're going to talk about the weights, the way it feels, all of it. Just give me one moment, because we're going to talk about soap. Ah! I want to take a second just to talk about this brand new soap that I purchased over at a &E when they did the opening. Their storefront just opened. This is Gothic Quarter. I know a lot of you have seen this label and said, that looks awesome. How does it smell? I've seen it on Facebook. A bunch of people are like, what does this smell like? It does not smell like the label. I want to mention that. I told Peter that to his face. I said, I don't know if this matches. I think this is kind of a mismatch scent. Kind of similar to Graveyard for me. Graveyard is actually closer. This is a very nice Mandarin forward with an anise and vanilla background that kind of comes in with a, a sandalwood and a floral note. I don't know if it's like, on the notes down below, I think it's like a jasmine or a rose, maybe a violet. There is definitely some floral that plays in with the, um, with the vanilla and the sandalwood. But the anise is really strong in this. For me, what I end up getting is like a green, very inviting, almost springy scent. Come on, tell me what part of this says spring, but it smells really good. I like it. I think it's a nice scent. We've already got it lathered up on the dome. And you know how Peter's stuff is. It's awesome. It is absolutely thick, hydrated, and <laughs> try to get a little here. But it's just absolutely awesome. Ah, oh, I just oh, hydrated beyond hydrated. And already on the dome, you can see I've got it going everywhere. Really good stuff. I just can't say enough about Kaizen. I know this is not a soap video, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about it today. It's awesome. And we did do that with our mountain hair shaving brush, which germs is just turning awesome stuff. Um, we've got Achilles from Van Hule. Van Hule, Van Hule, or however you want to pronounce it. Achilles is an orange scent. You can see all that segment in the bottom of it. It is orange and cinnamony. And I think it's going to play well with the orange and anise inside of Gothic Quarter. Now, I am going to be using some Persona Med Prep Blues, some lab blues. And we had that in the loading video at the start, just to kind of speed things along. Let's get this thing going. Yes, I'm thrilled. Again, I want to just shout this out. I did not pay for this razor. I did receive this razor as kind of a prototype, right? This razor did have a mark and did not pass their inspection. So it was actually putting the razors on the side of saying, can't send that out, right? And because of that, I was actually able to um, get one before the Kickstarter went live. I am a backer though, I bought five. So for all of you out there, they're like, wait a second, he's not, it's not a legit review. I bought five. I really like this razor for one reason specifically. It, it sits on more of the um, cart category than it does the safety razor um, category. For me, look at this. It took, you see that line of um, soap? It takes off shaving soap super effortlessly and i want to just show you guys this just i'm gonna let, just kind of shave like i have been this is my seventh or eighth okay it's like my ninth or tenth actually now i'm counting in my head shave here take a look here i'm gonna do half my head <laughs> like i do usually now my wife was laughing because she said this is the first razor she's ever used 
since we started um, wet shaving, right, safety razor shaving, where it feels exactly like her old cart, but it produces an absolutely flawless finish, right? The leaf still has some effort to it. And I want to preface that. The leaf definitely has some effort to it. And I think this is a razor that really does it. It has a lot of the energy that you should use into a wet uh, safety razor, into the pivot. The pivot is very gentle. And for some reason, I don't know what it is. It's not as bitey for me. It is not as bitey as the leaf was when I was first learning. Now, keep in mind, the leaf has actually changed over the last couple of years and has become a little less efficient. So if you get one of the older ones, they definitely had more bite. So this right here seems similar to me to like, honestly, like the Broman. It feels like a Broman that shapes a lot closer. It's very cool. I like the magnet system. I know last time I did a review on this, they said, you didn't talk enough about the magnet system. I had a bunch of commenters that said, what about the magnet? So there is magnets in the back of this that help support that, that pivot. And they actually help hold that blade in. They are really recessed. And I know that I saw over on their Kickstarter, somebody mentioned and said, what happens if my magnet falls out? And they said, we are not thinking that's ever going to happen. If it does, we'll warranty it. Our razors are for life. That's one thing they pride themselves about. And I just think that what Andy, Andy and David are doing over there is just so cool. Look at this. It's revolutionary. I think it's revolutionary. I'm on 29 hours of growth here. Take a look what it's doing. You can see here, just absolutely annihilating, annihilating any of the stubble I have. It's very close. It's very fast. Can do my full head that fast. Very, very easy, very fast, and very efficient. I do like this razor with sharper blades. I do want to mention that it does shave better for me with sharper blades. When I went a little milder, it does shave, but it takes a little bit more passes, right? For me, I get a really close, you know, two and a half pass with sharp feather blades or these blades, these Persona Mat um, Lab Blues, really, and they're made in the U.S., which is cool. That's it. Beautiful shave. We're all shaved up on that side. Now, I know what everybody's saying is, how does it compare? And mine, I do want to mention, I uh, added a thorn base plate with a twig body. That's just for fun and for flair. That right there is, uh, it is the thorn base plate with a twig head. It doesn't really change anything other than the fact I like the color. Let's go on here and see how it feels. Now, first and foremost, there is way more blade fill on this razor than the, um, than the high proof. I'd say the high proof sits probably on the three to four spectrum, probably three, and probably the five spectrum on efficiency. This thorn feels more like a solid four, medium aggressive razor. You can kind of hear it chewing through things, kind of hear it chewing through like a four and um, it shaves at about a six efficiency. So I get more efficiency for sure out of this razor. I'm not using any pressure. And I want to mention again, this was originally actually intended to be a, like, a, like a tool for getting around sharp like areas, like, you know, tight areas. It was meant, more meant to be a complimentary tool than a solo driver for the leaf. Oh, gross. Really good shave though. Really nice. And I think, you know, oh, wow. You always forget this thing just hugs the skin so easy, but it does not pivot. So you're doing some of that work on modifying the angle and adjusting the pressure yourself. I know a lot of people out there kind of sit on the, do you like pivots or you do you hate them? For me, I like them. I think they're nice. I think that they invite a level of comfort and um, approachability to the craft that, you know, new shavers, people that are coming into the craft don't necessarily have all the time, right? Before Leaf and before Razor's coming out with pivots, you just had options like this that were a little intimidating where they could cut you and could leave you really raw with bad form or without, you know, having good lather, things like that. Whereas this new razor, telling you the high proof, you don't have that issue. You don't have the effort. You don't have to expend the energy doing the angle and pressure yourself. And I did talk to my buddy. He said, for him, for him over on Facebook, a really good friend of mine, said, this is the most bitey razor he's ever used. I get the best shaves when he told me, or I get the most bloody shaves. It's a razor that can bite. I will just, I want to mention that again. The first time I used it, that's when I actually texted over to Leaf. I said, that razor it could bite somebody. It absolutely could. We're shaved. That's it. Beautiful, easy, fast, elegant. That's what I'm telling you guys. For me, the high proof probably feels a little less close. Let's feel. Let's. I, I feel like the this side right here, the leaf side of things, probably still a little closer, but not by much. Really, honestly, and the amount of energy I had to expend on the leaf side was probably a little more. We're gonna lather back up now. 
And back from lathering, I just want to go over on the um, with the Lorne and see if we can get anything off on the on the high proof side. Come in like this, see if we get anything off. Feeling like an ice skate, everybody. Feeling like an ice skate. Yeah, I'm not feeling any tugging, any pulling. It's like look at the lather here. Look, just look at the lather. Nothing coming off on that lather at all. Absolutely shiny. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say it was really an efficient shave on the high proof side. Surprisingly, uh, it, because it really doesn't feel super uh, like efficient, but the shave is sneaky. It's very close and very comfortable. Really, honestly. Now we're going right over the um, other, like, the, like I said, against the grain now with the thorn. You can see I can do this very quickly. Take a look. Nothing coming off on the thorn side. We're not pulling anything off, which is pretty impressive, actually, because the thorn is definitely more blade fill and it feels like it's going to bite or like it could bite. We're going to go on this other side now. And we're gonna do the same thing on the high proof side. This is for your guys' entertainment and um, enjoyment, not for my skin. I don't recommend doing this, but I do wanna see if we can get anything off. Personally, I think it's for science, right? For shave science. We're going in here, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see if we can pull anything off. You can see it takes the lather right off, which I think is cool. I think one of the only downsides to the um, high proof, and you can see here, nothing coming off, right? Nothing. I think the only downside is that it's aluminum, and I did get some people that reached out and said, I'd like to see it in other four, um, finishes. I would too. I am with you guys. I would love to see it in stainless. I would love to see it in titanium, and I did mention that to them. That was one of my points of uh, feedback, and another one was colors. I know that on their Kickstarter, they said that you can have anything as long as it is silver or black. That's their color options, silver or black, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Both are very close. I don't know if there's really that much of a difference as far as closeness goes. As far as the actual shave, you can see much different on the stroke, much different on the pressure, much different on the energy level, right? My energy levels were definitely less, I didn't have to focus much on the high proof side. Really good shave, really comfortable, very enjoyable, honestly, extremely enjoyable. Yeah, we're throwing on the splash. This is a very, very high, High potency on the cinnamon, high potency on the chemicals, on the oils. No burn. No burn at all. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of you out there right now that are saying to yourself, that's cool on the dome. How does it shave on the face? Let's let's run it. Let's do it together. And let's do this thing. High proof side on the left side here. We're going to get in and just touch up the beard. We want to make sure to keep a nice straight line on the beard. Very fast, effortless, energyless. I'm applying pressure, quite a bit of it, and allowing it to pivot. There you go. All off. Okay. Other side. I really like that the leaf thorn has such a small head on it. Very easy to see where it's shaving with the small head. I really like the leaf for right here. The, the leaf thorn really does a good job. One thing about pivots, this part of my face is usually harder. The high proof, because it has a small head on it, is not that hard. Better. Let's do the neck now. High proof side. Come on, tell me that's not awesome. Take a look at the lather coming off. Leaf side. Both are awesome. Both are so good. Both of these, man, phenomenal shavers. Look at my neck. Look at this. You don't see any flare-ups, no redness. I like both. I think both are really good. Let's listen to the towel here. Yeah, you can't, there's no pulling. Very close shave. Very comfortable shave. Take a look. Oh, yeah. We, know, we haven't done a face shave on camera in a long time, probably a year. Let's, I just thought it'd be fun to get in there, do a really quick fill. Let's throw on a little bit of the splash on the face and see if we get any flare-ups or any burning. Oh, 
Both are fantastic shavers. I think if you own the Leaf Thorn, but sometimes you just want a faster shave, I think this still fills a, a gap, at least it does in my arsenal, where this right here is still phenomenal. It's still up there in my den, and there's definitely a spot for it still to today. I really like it, and that's, I mean, that's why I bought the Leaf Elite. Take a look here. Yeah, I'm going to say both sides. Absolutely flawless. Awesome shavers. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I know it was a little longer, but I know I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Thank you guys so much. It was awesome. I'll catch you in the next Subi Shaves video.